You see designers who seem to dominate the UX UI design world, creating stunning apps and websites that attract thousands of likes and admiration. It feels like they have a special talent for designing things their users instantly love, right? The truth is, you just don't know what they know. No one has shown you the cheat codes, the secrets that the top 1% of designers know, but you don't. However, everything is about to change. Today, you're going to level up. You will learn a few powerful UI design tips through practical, real-life examples that will show you how to design and think like a senior UX UI designer. It's time to go from a junior or beginner UX UI designer and join the top 1% of designers. So, if you're ready to take your design game to the next level, keep watching. All right, here's the scenario. Imagine you're designing a sleep tracking app. Your goal is to collect daily data on how many hours the user, let's call her Emily, slept last night. You also want to assign a quality rating such as great, good, neutral, poor, or bad based on the number of hours to help Emily understand how her sleep duration relates to sleep quality. Sounds simple enough, right? Let's look at how a typical junior designer might approach this. But here's the kind of design you might see from someone just starting out. Clean, straightforward navigation. Check. Big title at the top that says, How long would you say you slept yesterday? Check. Below that, we've got five options Emily can choose from, ranging from great to bad, each linked to a specific number of sleep hours. These selections are made with radio buttons, and the selected state is highlighted in the app's primary color. Now, at first glance, you might be thinking, hey, this works. And sure, it does the job. It's functional, it's clean, and the design is easy to follow. But hold on, let's think about it. Is this the kind of app that's going to delight Emily and keep her engaged every single day? Does it make her feel something? Or is it just another simple data entry task? Does this design accurately represent the goal of helping Emily understand how her sleep duration affects her overall quality of rest? I think we know the answer to that. Now, let's take a look at how a slightly more experienced designer would approach this design. How about something like this? This already looks much better, right? Let's understand why. First, let's talk about the title. We've made two important changes here. Personalization. We added Hi Emily to personalize the experience. People respond more positively when they feel recognized, and even something as simple as using their name can enhance engagement. Clarity and simplicity. We revised the title to How Long Did You Sleep Last Night? Users prefer language that is conversational and easy to process, and this phrasing feels natural, reducing friction in the interaction. Now, let's talk about how we reorganized the layout. In the previous version, the state labels, great, good, and bad, were more prominent than the actual hours slept. But here, we've shifted the emphasis to the hours. This follows the principle of visual hierarchy, where the most critical information, the hours, is given more prominence. The state labels still provide useful feedback, but they are secondary. This ensures that users focus on inputting the correct number of hours first before reflecting on the quality. The radio buttons are now placed on the left side. This aligns with the F pattern in natural reading order, which users are accustomed to. By placing the interaction controls on the left, we ensure users can quickly and intuitively make their selection without unnecessary eye movement or cognitive load. We've added emojis next to each sleep option to make the experience more fun and relatable. Instead of just numbers and words, the emojis bring a bit of personality to the app making it easier for users to connect emotionally with their choices. The emojis also visually reinforce the idea that more sleep leads to better outcomes. For example, a happy emoji is tied to longer sleep, while an upset emoji is linked to shorter durations. This makes it easy for users to instantly understand what each option represents, encouraging healthier sleep habits in a way that feels natural and engaging. We've also made the selected state much more distinct, by changing the text color and making the emoji larger for the selected option, we're adding system feedback. 
Good feedback lets users know their input has been registered and provides a satisfying, responsive interaction. All right, this design was a step up from the first one, but we're not done yet. Let's take it to the next level and create an interface that feels not only functional, but also fun and intuitive to interact with. How about something like this? Instead of a basic list, we now have a curved slider that makes the experience more fun and engaging. It feels less like filling out a form and more like a journey, letting Emily slide through her options in a natural, satisfying way. Emily can swipe between sleep options, making the experience more intuitive and satisfying than clicking a button. Swiping feels natural on mobile devices, making the interaction smoother and more mobile-friendly. The selected option is now entered and enlarged, making it clear which sleep duration Emily has chosen. The size contrast guides her focus, reducing confusion. The large emoji and bold text give immediate feedback. Is this the only other option? No, it's not. Let's look at something different to make it feel even more personal for Emily. What about this design? In this version, the selected state is now front and center, right in the middle, making it the most prominent part of the screen. This isn't just a small detail, it's an essential part of the design. When Emily selects an option, it's highlighted visually with the larger emoji that gives immediate feedback. The emoji in the middle not only shows Emily's selection, but it also reinforces her choice with positive feedback, whether her sleep was good or something else. This centralized feedback, combined with encouraging text like your sleep was good, aim for eight hours for the best rest, makes the experience more motivational and informative for Emily. As Emily selects different options, both the emoji and the feedback change dynamically. This adds an element of fun and personalization. The app isn't just collecting data, it's giving real-time responses to help Emily understand her sleep patterns better. Now, let me show you one more option for designing this experience. In this design, the selected emoji stays right in the middle, giving Emily immediate visual feedback about how well she slept. But this time, we've taken it up a notch by adding a slider below the emoji, making the experience more interactive for Emily. As Emily slides through the sleep durations, the emoji and feedback text dynamically change in real time, creating a more engaging experience. For instance, here she can see that she slept two hours more than the night before, which adds a layer of personalization and helps Emily feel more connected to her progress. This type of interaction brings Emily closer to her sleep data, making it feel more like a personal journey rather than just a task. Compare this to the previous design. I think this version takes interaction to the next level. Now, I want to make this video a bit more interactive for you too. Pause the video and tell me in the comments which design I designed you like the most and add a reason why. Do you prefer option A for its clean and simple design? Is option B more your style with its dynamic, swipeable interaction? Maybe you like option C for its emoji selection and encouraging feedback. Or does option D stand out with its interactive slider and sleep comparison? I'm really curious to hear which one stands out to you and why. Write it in the comments. I've got even more tips for you in this video, but as you've seen so far, even small tweaks can turn a good design into a great one. The reality is becoming a great designer takes years of learning. And even then, you might still be missing some key elements to consistently create beautiful designs. That's exactly why we created the UI UX Playbook, a comprehensive guide packed with over 100 actionable tips, principles, and strategies that can take your designs to the next level and save you many years of frustration and failures. The Playbook has received five-star reviews from more than 10,000 people who have already downloaded the free preview or grabbed the full version. Don't miss out on this opportunity to learn how to create beautiful designs yourself just click the link in the description to get your copy. And if you stay until the end, I'll give you a special gift. Now, let's shift gears and take a look at the world of finance. Picture something like this. You've designed a stunning banking app with a clean, modern interface that users love. Imagine the possibilities when your app not only looks great, but also offers a seamless user experience. You can find the full tutorial for creating this beautiful banking app design including the source files in our UX UI Design Mastery course. 
Now, imagine you need to design payment experience, a flow where users can easily transfer money to their friends, Michaela, Jenny, and Rachel. So let's get back to our home on our mobile app and click on at the bottom to go to the transfer screen to see how an average junior designer would design it. We have a basic layout with two buttons and redundant text. It's a simple design that you can say in a way works, but let's see how a more senior designer would design this experience. This is much better. Now, let's compare this to a design from a junior designer. Instead of cluttering the screen with unnecessary text or multiple options, we've used the space more efficiently. We added a recent recipient section along with the search bar. By doing this, we eliminated the need for a separate choose from history button and streamlined it to just one clear call to action. This design choice does a few key things. It lets users see people they've recently transferred money to, making the process faster and more intuitive. It reduces interaction cost, a key UI design principle you'll learn about in our UI UX playbook. Every unnecessary action you remove from the process improves the user experience. The senior level design not only looks cleaner, but it also leverages important UX principles to create a more seamless and user-friendly experience. So let's dive deeper into the transaction process. Now, imagine your app supports transferring funds in different currencies. Here's how a junior designer might approach design of the transfer screen. There are two separate fields, one for selecting the currency and another for entering the transfer amount. This layout works and technically, it gets the job done, but it's not optimized for the user's experience. Now, let's see how I would improve this. What about this? This instantly feels better. First, you need to think from the user's perspective. What's the most important task they want to complete? Entering the transfer amount. So I've made this the focus of the screen, making it larger and more prominent to immediately draw the user's attention. On the other hand, selecting the currency is a secondary action. The currency selector is tucked neatly into the corner of the amount input field, making it available but not distracting. This assumes the user will most likely transfer money in the same currency most of the time, so the emphasis remains on the amount. This minimizes distractions and keeps the interface focused on the task at hand. Now, let's take it a step further and enhance the user experience even more. How would you do that? I would do it by giving users a clear visual cue of who they're sending money to, incorporating a profile photo or even just an icon next to the recipient's name. An account number does more than just personalize the transaction. It taps into the principle of recognition over recall. Instead of having to remember specific details like account numbers, users can quickly recognize familiar faces or icons, making the process more intuitive and reliable. This subtle addition helps users feel confident that they're sending money to the right person, reducing the risk of accidental transfers. Now we can take this a step further by adding your new balance section directly after the transfer amount. This addition gives users instant feedback on how the transaction will affect their account balance. So not only does it allow them to see their current balance, but it also shows what their new balance will be after the transaction is complete. This improves transparency and helps users feel more in control of their finances, minimizing any surprises after sending money. Sadly, you will find that many banking apps miss this feature. Now, let's imagine the user has multiple accounts perhaps a business account, a personal account, or even a joint account. In this scenario, it's important to clearly show which account the payment is coming from to avoid any confusion. We can implement a simple yet effective solution. Displaying both the sender's account and the recipient's account prominently during the transaction. This ensures the user knows exactly which account will be deducted, whether it's their personal, business, or joint account. By doing this, we give the user a clear overview of their accounts and reduce the chance of errors. They can easily switch between accounts before finalizing the transaction, making the process both intuitive and flexible. You can really see the big difference in how a junior and senior designer would approach the same experience. As a senior UX UI designer, your role goes beyond just creating visually appealing designs. You have a deep understanding of your target audience their needs, frustrations, and motivations. 
you step into their shoes considering the environment and context in which they'll use your product. By doing this, you don't just design interfaces, you craft intuitive user-centered experiences that solve real problems and make interaction seamless. Now, let's move on to the final tip. Offer selection instead of manual input. Imagine you're designing an onboarding screen for your product and you want to ask the user for their job title. Here's how an average designer might handle this. This design has a text field where the user has to manually type in their answer. While it gets the job done, it's not the best approach. Why? Because it requires more effort from the user and introduces the possibility of typos, inconsistent responses, or frustration with thinking of the right title. Now, let's see how a senior UX UI designer would handle this. Instead of a manual input field, I would add a selection of the most common job titles. Users can simply tap their role, making the process faster and easier. I also brought in some personality by incorporating icons next to each option. For those whose job title wasn't listed, we included another option, allowing them to either input their own title or select it as a general option. When designing, you can play with different layouts to add more visual appeal, but ultimately, you always have to prioritize the user experience. We put a lot of effort into creating this video and it would mean the world to us if you could support it by sharing or leaving a comment. And because you stayed until the end, I have a special offer for you. Use code AWESOME50 to get 50% off on either our playbook or the Design Mastery course. Thank you for watching, and I wish you a beautiful day.